Robotics officer reporting the snares are open. And with that, you can see the arm slowly backing away, dragon released, 4.11 a.m. Central Time, 5.11 a.m. Eastern, with the station about 257 statute miles over the Earth's surface, just to the south of Australia. You can see dragon slowly drifting out. Again, that release time right on time, 4.11 a.m. Central, 5.11 a.m. Eastern, exactly per the timeline. Again, Dragon going to slowly drift out. The robotic arm retracts, and then the first departure burn should come at about 4.14. The arm now in motion, backing away from Dragon. There you can see the grapple fixture on the vehicle, which is used to uh, grab it when it arrives and then was grabbed by the robotic arm for the unberthing and ultimate maneuvering to this release attitude and then released by uh, the Canada Arm 2. And then there, there you can see it. SpaceX's Dragon slowly drifting away. Arm already about nine feet away from Dragon. And so now with Dragon released, the arm backed away. We're standing by for that first departure burn. And there you can see depart burn one started. Station on two for 413. Dragon depart commanded. Houston copy. So the first of three departure burns executed. Dragon slowly backing away now. Houston, departure burn one is complete. Departure burn two in approximately one minute. Copy, thanks Houston. Visiting vehicle officer here in Houston reporting everything looking good with the vehicle. That first departure burn complete as you heard Capcom Mike Hopkins radio up. And then the second one should be starting any moment now. That'll carry it um, several hundred meters away eventually from the station. Setting up for that third and final departure burn which will carry Dragon out of the keep out sphere and the approach ellipsoid. And the second departure burn has commenced. And already completed. Station Houston, departure burn two is complete. Go for SSRMS safety and perform step five in one decimal three two zero. Departure burn three in approximately seven minutes. Monitor per step three and one decimal six zero two. 
Okay, we'll monitor the third burn and we'll head to step five and the other procedure for saving. Thanks. It's a good read back. So the first two departure burns complete. Dragon on its way away from the International Space Station. Again, that release came right on time. Houston copy. Again, the release came right on time at 4.11 a.m. Central Time, 5.11 a.m. Eastern, with the International Space Station flying just to the south of Australia. From this view, you can see on the Earth below, the station has crossed the Terminator line, heading into an orbital nighttime. If you could, if you could pan and tilt the, the cameras to try and follow the, the vehicle, we'd appreciate it. Yeah. And you can see Dragon continuing to depart, the sun setting on Earth and on the International Space Station and Dragon as it flies away. Loaded with more than 5,400 pounds of cargo, research samples, vehicle hardware, and other items making its way now from the station on its way soon back through the Earth's atmosphere for a splashdown in the Pacific.